Tonight's nightly ninety is words matter. So me and uh me and this woman right here have a little girl and she's floating around the house somewhere, I don't even know where she's at. And so she got home from hanging out with a friend, and her friend took care of getting like a, a season pass, this water park, and they got her a whole bunch of cool candy. And anyway, so she comes in and there's a statement that's made, and the statement is Oh, you got spoiled today. And my daughter says, No, but the other girl did, the girl she was with. Now the statement is kind of like, oh, like my daughter, she had free everything, food everything. So we're like, what? You didn't get spoiled? Almost like a greedy, like ungrateful little thing. And then so I literally go in the garage and I say, get your ASS in here because I'm bothered internally because I'm like, this little girl's about to get a earful. Come to find what she meant was that she wasn't acting like a spoiled brat. Like I guess her friend potentially might have her perspective. So what essentially I'm trying to say is sometimes when you use words, you think they don't hold power, but they hold incredible power. And I think as we as human beings don't always comprehend this one other thing is that this kid right here, he's doing a great job. Me and, my, me and his mom are very proud of the way he comes to the gym and works out with us, right? Again, words matter. And so I like to make sure I, I spend moments just praising him for all the awesomeness he does. Because again, words matter. I want him to comprehend how much his parents love him or are proud of him. Same way maybe you need to have your words mean something to somebody else in your life. So at this moment in time, for someone who needs to hear something special or something specific, make sure you give him a call and tell them what you gotta tell them because again, words matter. Share this video and as always, God bless, trust your hustle, and go Ducks. Go Ducks.